We got some new medical news out. Zombie cells could be lurking within your body. What are they? What do they do? And what can you do about it? Greg McPherson is a biotechnologist, pharmacist, and author of Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging. He's our guest on 710KURB. So right off the bat, what are zombie cells? That sounds spooky. Yeah, it's, they're zombie cells because they're just like the living deed, right? They sit in our body and they just sit there and, and just don't, don't be removed from our body. And um, this happens as we get older. Um, they have a real, they have a, a technical name called senescent cells, um, but they, and they're really useful for us when we're young. But as we get older, they build up and they cause all sorts of chaos. What kind of chaos? You know, they, they like when, when we, the body wants to get rid of them, right? Um, but as we get older, the body gets a little tired. The immune system can't identify them and pick them up. So they, they throw out a whole bunch of inflammatory gunk. And that gunk is actually what damages the, the body. So they throw out the gunk so that the immune system cells can identify them and get rid of them. Um, but yeah, they, it just doesn't happen so well as we get older and they build up. And this is really why they think a lot of the diseases associated with old age are starting to occur. Who are the kinds of people that are more likely to have these zombie cells? Yeah, everybody actually. So we're um, it, it's it's anybody over the age of forty is starting to deal with more and more zombie cells, and um, they just build up and accumulate. Um, so really, you want to start worrying about them in your fifties. Before then, it's not so bad. We're speaking with Greg McPherson, who is the author of Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging, our guest on 710KURV. We're talking about zombie cells that might be lurking within your body. So how do you get rid of these things? Can you get rid of these things? Is there a, is there a process? Is there a thing you can do? Is like a juice cleanse or something? Is there a green drink? How does it work? You know, the, the beautiful thing is when the uh, scientists uh, identify a problem, then they start to work out, okay, how do we get rid of these things? And it turns out we've been doing a pretty good job of it anyway when we exercise and we eat well. Uh, but new research is showing if we fast, so if we sort of skip skip breakfast or skip breakfast and lunch, then it gives the body the opportunity to get, identify them and get rid of them. And then there are new supplements you can take, um, like something called fisetin, which comes from strawberries. And you have to eat a trailload of strawberries to be able to get enough, so you can um, get, get, get a supplement called fisetin. Um, and that actually helps the body... Uh, knock out those cells essentially and uh, there is just so many benefits now um, according to the research showing that we can reduce inflammation and have a lot of health benefits from dropping the level of these cells are there what are some other ways of, of doing it rather than eating is there some sort of lifestyle change that you can yeah it's, it's, it's diet it's exercise a plant-based diet is really helpful um, again it's just um, not what you eat it's when you eat so if you can just have like one meal a day one day a week, for example, that's going to help the body trigger it um, and trigger the, the uh, something called autophagy, which clears out those junk cells. Um, but, you know, if we if we don't not eat and we don't exercise, then these things will just build up and they'll cause, cause problems. I want to ask you about autophagy, but first I want to ask you, when at, at what stage in life does this uh, zombie cell process begin? Um, so it's it's around the whole time, right? We, zombie cells are really useful when we're younger. They um, what what, it, what essentially our body does is if a cell is not behaving properly, like it gets a little damage or cancerous or it's finished its job, then it goes into zombie mode and um, it uh, leaks these inflammatory messengers which attract the immune cells and, and, and the immune cell just goes and gets rid of them, if you will, and recycles them. So... So really things start to build up if you're a little overweight. Um, fat tissue loves zombie cells. Um, but again, again, it's just over the age of 50, that's when the level of these zombie cells starts to actually impact. And if you imagine in your kitchen, you've got your, like your waste and you don't clean it out for a couple of days and it's smelly and it's just not that pleasant. Well, that's kind of what's happening at a cellular level. It's not very pleasant for the cells around those zombie cells. And next minute, the cells next to it become zombie cells, and it just slowly uh, creeps through your body. And it's not something that happens super fast, but it does happen, and it really affects your health. Greg McPherson is a biotechnologist, a pharmacist, and he's the author of the book Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging, our guest on News Talk 710-KURV. Let's talk about autophagy. And you've... Uh, this this is a part of uh, 
I'm I'm reluctant to say a, a diet craze or a diet fad or something like that, but it, but intermittent fasting has been something that's been very popular here in America recently. It's 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 one of those things that it, it goes away and then it comes back again. It goes away and it comes back again. It's like the hottest thing, and it's a it's a big deal right now. So what is it and how does it work and how does it apply to getting rid of these zombie cells? Yeah, so autophagy um, comes from, a, I guess, a Latin word called self-eating. It's actually how our body does the housekeeping. And, and, and what stimulates autophagy is actually that intermittent fasting, exactly what you're talking about. And it goes right back to when we were, like, you know, I don't know a million years ago, we were running around chasing animals on the, on the plains for, for, to eat. There were times when we actually didn't get food. And so that might have been just during, a, like, a, I don't know, a... a long snowstorm or something like that and the body needs to go into survival mode and to do that it uh, flips a switch and it starts to get energy from the cells within so to speak and so and what it does is it picks out the cells which aren't working so well or the proteins that aren't functioning so well and so what, essentially what it does is just gives the body like it cleans out the the, uh, the junk if you will. And then when we eat again, then all those cells and proteins get rebuilt and nice, shiny and new. So that's that's the, the basis of it. So it's really just a, a, a body's way to to um, just you know clean out the rubbish, do the housekeeping and um, and maintain itself. How long do you have to do the fasting for autophagy to kick in? Yeah, so it's, it's probably missing a meal is, is good. Um, the first thing you do is like not snacking between meals because that gives your body a little bit of a t chance to not have any food and flip the switch on to housekeeping mode. But if you want to do a deep cleanse, then um, you could eat fast even as long as five days, which is quite extreme. But um, people that do that report quite significant benefits and it really doubles uh, and reduces inflammation. So quite good for people with autoimmune conditions. But for the rest of us, um, you know, missing breakfast occasionally, missing breakfast and lunch is just fine. And what what are some of the, the the main benefits that you would see, I guess, right away after doing, I guess, like a month of of, of fasting and getting rid of some of these zombie cells? Is this, is it is it a, something that you can tangibly notice once once you clear a lot of these out? Yeah, totally, Zach. So um, I've only done it once. I did a five-day fast. It's um, it's tough. You get hangry, and it's just um, a little brutal towards the end, right? But uh, when you when you finally come back and have a little food, you, it just feels amazing. Like you just feel fantastic. You've got no brain fog. You've got a lot of energy, and uh, if you've got an autoimmune disease or any sort of conditions like that, then that that, that often that condition can actually be quite suppressed. Um, for a little while after you've been through that fasting process. These zombie cells, do they accelerate aging if they accumulate too much? They do. Researchers have found if you take a zombie cell and from perhaps an old mouse and you put it into a young mouse, that, that young mouse starts to exhibit like accelerated aging. So it, it, absolutely, they are, um, they're really useful to, to get rid of. And um, absolutely, the more you have, the faster you're going to be aging and the more chance you're going to have some of these health conditions that you get with age. Tell us tell us about your book, Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging, and, and where can people pick it up? Thanks, Zach. Uh, so uh, about uh, back in 2013, some researchers came up with a paper called The Hallmarks of Aging. And inside that, they t um, detailed nine areas of our body that actually define how well we age. So my book was all about sort of um, deciphering that paper for the average person so that without any sort of technical knowledge. So, and it's this healthy aging handbook, which shows you what you can do in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s and beyond to slow the aging process, knowing what the uh, researchers had uh, determined from that paper. And um, you pop across to Amazon.com and harnessing the nine hallmarks of aging and you'll be able to get it there. It's the... It's the book Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging. Our guest is Greg McPherson, who's a biotechnologist, pharmacist, and the author of said book, Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging. Our guest on News Talk 710 KURV.